Hi everyone and welcome to Sorel Vea Yoga. Today we're going to be doing a strengthening flow that builds up to our full bow pose. And it's going to be really fun going all over the place on our mat and building up some heat and strength. You'll always have the options to add in some more flows if you want or do some more sun salutations with Surya Namaskaras that suit you. Like I said, I'll be consistently doing different variations to keep my wrist safe just because I'm still building up my strength and my mobility. But I am very happy to be here with you today and excited to share some stuff. So I recommend grabbing a strap or a sock or a towel if you have it to get into those deeper back bends that where we grab our feet and they're just handy to have as well as a block or two or books or anything to give you some extra length in your arms. I unfortunately forgot all my stuff today, but I encourage you to grab them if you can. If not, that's okay. Hop on your mat. Let's have some fun. Wherever you're at, get comfortable on that mat. If that is in a seat or on your back, doesn't matter. Begin to close your eyes. Just noticing your breath as it is. And I forgot even my book today, but I do have some fun stuff to share with you that was shared with me yesterday. And it's been on my mind a lot. So as you're settling into the body, settling into the mind, and coming to your connection with your breath, I want you to think about this phrase. You ready? What would it be like to be a benevolent alien? <laughs> Just let that settle in for a second. A benevolent alien. And it was brought to my attention to be a benevolent alien. You would look at the world through different eyes because everything would be new. Every experience would be a novelty. It would be exciting. You'd be curious. You'd be filled with wonder. So what would happen if we moved through our practice today as if we were benevolent aliens together? As if each pose was done for the first time today. And then take that off the mat and see if all of your sights that you're seeing, your house, your home, your friends, your family, your animals, can you see them all with new eyes? Hopefully it brings about a different sense of appreciation and admiration and love. And bringing both hands to your belly. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Let it go. And this time, inhaling through the nose, seal your lips and press that breath through the nostrils, finding your ujjayi pranayam. Inhale through the nose. Exhale it out. And breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale. Exhale. One more, just like that. Inhale through the nose. Imagine you're fogging up an, a mirror. Let the breath come out of your nose. And trying to keep that breath very present. That diaphragmatic breathing, that Darth Vader sounding breath. Sounds like an ocean as well throughout your practice as much as you can. Start to rub the palms together. Rub them, rub them, rub them, rub them. And gently placing the palms over the eyes, fluttering them open. 
Good. And make your way to a child's pose. Mm, bringing the big toes together, knees can be together or apart. And rocking the forehead side to side as you spread your fingers. Inhale, we're going to come up to kneeling. And I want you to bring your hands and interlace your fingers. Do some wrist circles here. Just stretching them out because we're going to do a lot on the hands. So you want to give some healing and TLC to our palms, our fingers, our wrists. They do so much for us. Everything. Oh, my goodness. And then come to your tabletop. And just start to move through some cat cows. Inhales, lifting the heart, lifting the tailbone. Exhale, rounding. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Bring some fluidity into the spine. Inhale, lift. Exhale, rounding. Maybe adding in some shoulders and belly and hip rolls. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. And then coming to a neutral spine, bring the left palm in front of your face on the mat. And then start to sweep that right hand up. With your exhale, act as if you're going to thread that hand underneath the left arm. But then inhale, sweep it back up. Exhale, begin to thread. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, begin to thread, reaching underneath that left arm. And then this time, come onto that right shoulder and right cheek. Lifting the sit bones high. And this left arm can stay in front of the face, the hand can, or it can come over the crown of your head. It can crawl out, go behind, whatever feels good. And then stay like this, or maybe just for fun, start to sweep left leg up. I have to be careful not to fall into this pool next to me. <laughs> it's not warm enough yet. It's early. Later, it'll feel amazing. And then bring that left hand down. I mean, left leg down. Inhale, we're going to sweep right arm back up. And then set it back down. Nice. Right hand's going to come in front of the face on the mat. Inhale, sweep left arm up. Big breath in. Exhale, begin to reach underneath the right. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach. Inhale, lift. Open the heart. Exhale, reach, reach, reach. And come onto the left cheek. And left shoulder. And staying like this, or once again, if you took a different arm variation, taking that on this side. Maybe sending right leg up. And just getting this nice shoulder and heart opener. And breathing wherever you're at. Bringing right leg down. If you lifted it, inhale, left arm sweeps up. Exhale, tabletop. Good. From here, finding your downward facing dog. Paddling it out, taking it for a walk. Spread the palms. Creating some space between shoulders and ears as you roll the biceps out. And feeling the heart coming closer to the thighs, opening the fronts of the arms. Good. Inhale, come forward, find your cow pose. Lift the heart, lift the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward, cow pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward, cow pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more, come forward, cow pose. But then this time, lower chin and chest. And then from here, Think of lifting the lower part of the back, the upper, and then slithering up to an 
a variation of in between cobra and upward facing dog. So feet are still down. Exhale, lower forehead. Crawl your fingertips off the mat. Keep your fingers, elbows up. Inhale, lift the upper body. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Nice and fluid, squeezing the glutes. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lifting head is last to come up. Exhale, lower head is last to come down. Start to bring the hands in between chest and hips. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Gaze forward. Step or hop to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, squeezing shoulder blades, drawing heart towards the front of the room or wherever you're at. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the hands up, rise all the way up. Exhale, Tadasana, hands come by your sides. Roll the shoulders back, start to feel the warmth already generating throughout the body. Flower your toes. Inhale, hands come up, gaze up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant the palms, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward. We're going to lower knees, chest, and chin. And then doing that same motion where you're going to lift the lower part of the back, then the upper, upward facing dog variation. Exhale, lower forehead. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. And you can always do a chaturanga if you'd like, if that suits you better. And two more breaths here. I'm just reveling in these Surya Namaskar A variations. Waking up the spine and the body, building some heat. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or hop to the front of your mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, reach up. Exhale, Tadasana. Spread your palms. Engage the kneecaps as you engage the fronts of the thighs. The kneecaps start to lift. Inhale, reach up, gaze up. Exhale, fold, hinging from the hips. Inhale, halfway lift, fill the back of the hamstring. Exhale, plant your palms, step back downward, facing dog. Come forward, we're going to lower knees down, chin and chest. Hugging elbows by your sides, and then slithering forward to that upward facing dog variation. And this time just going straight back downward facing dog. It's so hard to do that and not smash the microphone, so I hope I didn't do that. I apologize if I did. Three breaths. And two more. Really lifting the sit bones. And one more. Let it go. And gaze forward, step or hop to the front of your mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, reach up. Exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, reach up, gaze follow. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Plant your palms, step back with the right leg. Inhale, rise up, crescent lunge. And I like to start with my back knee bent, hovering above the earth, and then straighten it, really engaging that back heel and my glutes. Pull the navel back. And then we're going to have some fun with some balance stuff here. So spread your arms, palms facing down, and imagine there's some resistance. So there's something pressing up. So you're engaging the arms nice and strong. With your exhale, just like we thread the needle, you're gonna try to reach underneath that front leg with the right hand. 
Inhale, come up. Exhale, reach. Pull the navel up. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Two more times. Keep it going. Good. One more. Inhale, up. Exhale, right hand comes down. Sweep left arm up and then gently lower back knee down. Keep the toes curled for today. Crawl the right hand off the mat. And lift that left arm back and behind you, getting this nice heart opener up to the sky. You can close the eyes if that feels good for three, two, one. Left hand comes down, and right hand crawls a little closer to that front foot. So you're framing out that front foot. Stepping to a three legged table, left leg shoots back. And really tuck the tail here. So notice if you're doing a major arch, do a tuck, nice flat back. Inhale here. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, crunch it in, hold. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, tabletop. Lowering down if you for that knees, chest, and chin. So lowering chest and chin. And then slithering up. Exhale, downward facing dog. My little arms are so shaky because I haven't been able to work them so much. <laughs> and three breaths here. You can always stay here, take a child's pose. Just honoring what feels good to you today. Not forcing yourself to do something. Sometimes it does take some encouragement, though, or a little push. I get that. That's not a bad thing. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or hop to the front of your mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, reach up. This time, come all the way back down. Halfway lift. And with your exhale, step back with that left leg. Start with a bend in that back knee as you rise up to your crescent lunge. Once you get up there straight in that back leg, feel that left glute nice and engaged. Hips are square, drawing the thumbs back. Strong, sturdy legs as you open your arms here, palms facing down. And we're going to do the other side. Inhale. Exhale, left hand reaches underneath right leg. Inhale, come up. Exhale. Three more. And if you fall out, that's okay. It's part of the practice. Just come back to it. Find the breath. And if you need to lower that back leg at any point, please do. Meeting back in your crescent. Lower left hand down. Right arm reaches up. And lower back knee down. Crawl your left fingertips off your mat. And start to lean back as you open your heart to the sky, reaching right hand up and back behind you. Maybe closing the eyes for three, two, one. Frame out that front foot, stepping to a three-legged table, right leg shoots back. Inhale here. Exhale, crunch it in, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, lift. Exhale, crunch it in and hold. Really lift that right thigh and then inhale, extend it back. Exhale, tabletop. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, lower chin and chest. Inhale, slither up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths. Audible inhales, audible exhales. Feeling the warmth of the body. And then we're going to meet in a child's pose for a couple of breaths. Or if you need a sip of water, adjust yourself as the fun continues. <laughs> 
you lost that connection with the ujjayi pranayama, that nose nostril breathing <laughs> in through the nose and out through the nose. Come back to it. It helps focus the mind, helps with balance, and helps with keeping us nice and warm from the inside out. Inhale, come up tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. From here, take your right leg and sweep it up. Bend the knee and bring your heel towards your bum, but hips are square. And then start to bring your knee in line with the other knee. So you kind of are like a, what are they, a little, um, what are those? I like a little flamingo here. There we go. <laughs> As you do this, start to um, spinal wave forward as you draw knee into nose so you're coming through a one-legged two-hand plank <laughs> and then step it forward in between the palms coming into a runner's lunge you're on your fingertips and then start to bring all the weight into that front leg as you lift left knee up towards the chest hands come up strong core Breathing. From here, you're going to take a twist to the left. Maybe bringing right hand to the outside of that left thigh as you start to straighten that left leg forward. Gazing back, maybe just playing with the balance, filling the wobbles, all that humanness that makes you alive. Okay, ready? From here, you might need your block. We're going to move into a half moon. So grab that if you need it. Start to send that left leg back as right hand comes down, or maybe you hover it. And you're going to open your heart to the left. Maybe gaze goes up. If you feel ready for it, I want to take chapasana, bending the back knee, catching that foot or ankle. And think of really lifting the knee towards the sky. And just feeling that nice back bend, catching your breath, maybe playing with lifting that bottom hand up, ah, and then landing in like you're coming through a warrior two and moving right into a reverse triangle, straightening that front leg, gaze up at that top palm. Then from here, move into your warrior two, Virabhadrasana two, bending into that right knee. Make sure you can see your big toe. Tuck your tail. Press through that back foot. And gaze over the right fingertip. Okay. From here, you're going to pretend like we're in an archery class. So you're going to bring your palms to touch at the front of your mat, staying in warrior two legs. As you do this, you're gonna make a fist with the left hand as you start to pull all the way back with the left arm. Then come forward, inhale, exhale again. Inhale, palms together. Maybe they touch, maybe they don't, that's okay. Exhale, pull that arch back, hold it, hold it. Breathing. And from here, you're going to cartwheel your hands down, stepping back, downward facing dog, but sweepy that right leg up. So the right, the same leg is still lifted that we had lifted a bit ago. Come forward through your high plank, and mine might look a little funky because of my wrist. And then from here, coming into a low chaturanga or coming all the way onto your belly, because that's where we're going to meet. Keep that right leg lifted, start to sweep right arm up, and then crawl left fingertips forward. So you're in this fun little lotus variation. Stay here, bend that back knee. If you need your strap, grab it. And you're gonna take your right hand and reach for the inside of that right foot or catch the ankle. And now we're gonna lift everything up. So left toes lift, left hand lift. I'm just finding this really nice half bow. Remember, if you need your strap, grab that strap. 
breathe. And gently release, bring the head, forehead to the tops of the hands. And just breathing here. And then bringing hands in between chest and hips. You can welcome to take a push up here, meeting in downward facing dog, or you can come through tabletop and back to downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts, bend the knee, heel comes to your bum, and then bring the knees in line with each other. Start to round the spine as you come forward, 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 knee to nose, step that foot in between the hands, coming to a runner's lunge on your fingertips. Bring all the weight into that front foot. We're going to draw right knee into our chest. Okay. From here, taking left hand to the outside of that right thigh as we come into a twist, right hand reaches back. Stay like this or play with extending that right leg forward just for an extra balance challenge. Strong core. Find that breath. And from here, we're going to move into our half moon. So if you needed a block on the other side, please grab it. I really wish I had mine too. Start to swivel right leg back. Left hand comes to that block or to the earth or hovers. And the right arm reaches up. Stay like this. Or if you took your chapasana, bending that back, that lifted leg and catching your foot or ankle. Really work on dialing the heart up to the sky rather than down, though. And this side's a bit more wobbly for me, but if maybe for you it isn't, and you want to try hovering that bottom hand and opening the heart, ooh, land in your warrior two and move right to your reverse triangle. Gaze up at that top hand. Breathe here. Front leg is straight. And then find your warrior two. I'm moving so I don't give you my back. So I'm moving into that warrior two on the opposite side, tucking your tail here. Really strong front leg and pressing through the back edge of that back foot. Okay. Start to bring the palms to touch the front of the mat. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. But they're facing each other with anything. And then like an archer here, you're going to engage the right hand, starting to pull back. Engage the back muscles. Inhale, come forward. Heart turns forward. Exhale, pulling back. Heart turns to the right. Inhale, forward. Last one, exhale, archery. Squeeze that right arm, holding and breathing. And cartwheel hands down, stepping back to that three-legged dog. So left leg sweeps back up. Okay, come forward to your high plank with that left leg lifted. You can always come onto your right knee if you need to. And you can do a little bit of a flop like I'm about to do. So from here, lowering controlled as much as you can onto your belly, or you can do a little flop like me. <laughs> and then start to extend left arm up, left leg stays lifted. Crawl your right fingertips forward against the mat. Stay just like this or bend that back knee, maybe grabbing your strap, pausing here if you need it, and catching the inside of that foot or ankle. And then staying here or starting to float back foot and front hand coming into a variation of half bow. And I'll show you from this side as well. So you can see how there's a lot of heart opening happening. And it's helpful if you can grab the inside of that foot rather than the outside. And let it go. Rest your forehead on the tops of your hands. Catching your breath, maybe shimming the hip side to side. 
I'm breathing. Okay. Making your way to downward facing dog if you want to come through tabletop or push up. Either one. Take your time. I'm just feeling the body. I'm just breathing. From here, you're going to send that right leg up to the sky. Exhale, step right foot outside of right hand. And your choice with what kind of lizard pose you want to do, you can stay with an active lizard pose and the back knee stays lifted. You can lower it down, come onto the forearms, whatever you're feeling here. Regardless, though, open your heart. Broaden the shoulders. And you can play with moving through both, you know? See how that feels with knee lifted and lowered. And one more full breath here. And then coming up onto the palms. If you have your back knee lifted, keep it lifted. If not, lift it up. Lower back heel down, so you're basically in warrior two legs, but start to crawl your hands to the corner, the left corner of your mat, kind of off the mat. So you're in down dog arm and warrior two legs. And you should feel pretty light in the hands and the feet because now you have four points on the mat. It's a nice stretch in the back. Good. From here, start to crawl your hands into a wide-legged fold. And your choice here, staying just in a good old OG wide-legged fold. If you feel like coming upside down, you're more than welcome to do that. We're going to play here for a little. And one more full inhale. And stay for the exhale. And with your next exhale, lowering back down to earth, back to that wide legged fold. And we're going to crawl to the back of your mat, lower back knee down so you're in a low lunge on Janayasana. Good. Inhale, sweep your hands up. Just passing through, hands come down, grab your blocks if you need them. We're going to move into our half split. I recommend curling your back toes today, see how that feels. And then draw your front toes towards your face as you pull that left hip back. Navels pulling up. And you're finding a lot of space in the front body rather than really crunching in. More expansion here. This is fun, huh? Moving our bodies, getting warm together. <laughs> Maybe falling out of stuff. That's totally part of the process. So it makes it fun, you know? Doing funky stuff. Stay like this or keep the right hand down and start to sweep the left arm up, finding a twist. And then left hand comes back down, bend back into that front knee. You might need a strap here, bend that back leg and you can stay just like this. Or start to bring the left hand to the inside of this front leg as right hand, I oh know my bad, right hand to the inside of the front leg as left hand sweeps to the back or you have your strap and really open the heart to the left. Finding a nice quad stretch. Be about pressing sit bones to the heel rather than dipping down. Bringing some strength to the pose. 
left hand comes down, frame out front foot, step back to a three-legged table. So left leg is lifted. Okay, stay like this or bend that back knee, grab your strap if you need it. And now we're gonna reach back with the right hand, catching it, and try to catch either the inside or if you need to, the outside of the foot or ankle. But try to catch the inside if you can as you open your heart to the right. Really use that glute kick up, prepping us for our full bow pose. Inhale, exhale, gently release, tabletop. Curl your toes if they aren't curled, press the hips back for a more active child's pose. I'm just coming back to the breath. Inhale, come up tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, left leg is gonna lift and step to the outside of the left hand. Once again, your choice if you wanna take an active lizard with that back knee lifted or lower it down and take a more restorative variation of lizard. There's the most beautiful cardinal over here looking at himself in the mirror. And I was reading about it because he does this all the time. And it's because he thinks it's another male and he's very territorial and like competitive. So he thinks that like he's having a little brawl, a little competition with another male, but it's really just his handsome self. <laughs> and you can always play with both. That was my little interjection, a little break to distract your minds and help you picture something very beautiful. And they really are, as like if you've never seen one in person, they really are the reddest of red. You can think of the most beautiful red rose, and they're just as beautiful, if not more beautiful in their own way, with these crazy little feathers that stick up on their head. Okay, coming back up onto the palms, lifting back knee, lowering back heel, and then crawl your hands to the corner uh, off your mat a little bit so you're in down dog arms but warrior two legs relax the head and neck breathing here and i absolutely adore this shape it took me a little bit to figure out how to get into it so that it feels light in your palms and your feet but when you do it's so if you have any questions about this, please don't hesitate to ask. I want us all to feel the yumminess here. From here, walking to a wide-legged fold. If you went upside down, maybe this time just playing with some stretching, bending in the knees. Or you can always go upside down again. Hmm. It'll never work. I like to point my toes and heels out for wide-legged folds. I feel like it helps a lot with balance. You want to try that? If not, you don't have to. One more full inhale. Stay for the exhale. Inhale. And then let your other exhale. Crawl your hands back to the front of the mat, which is now going to be the back of your mat. Lower back knee down. Come up to your low lunge. Just passing through hands. Come down. Grab your blocks if you need them. Moving into your half split. I recommend keeping the back toes curled for today. Dialing that right hip back so the hips are nice and even and you can even bring one hand to the lower back to feel how it feels back there a lot to lift in the front body nice engagement in those front toes good old hammy stretch here <laughs> stay like this or keep the left fingertips down and start to reach the right arm up coming into a twist
and then right hand comes down and back into that front knee. Grab your strap if you need it. Then back knee and stay like this, or start to reach right hand back for the inside, or this one I like the outside of that foot or ankle, really opening the heart here. I'll give you another, another view of it rather than just my backside. You're really taking your heart up the sky and bringing the heel and the foot close. I mean, the heel and the foot. The heel is part of the foot. The heel and the glute close together rather than pressing the hips down. And then gently bring right hand down, back foot comes down. Stepping to a three-legged table, right leg is back. Okay, from here, grab your strap if you need it. Bend that back knee, left hand reaches back for the foot or ankle catching the inside. Open the heart, open your chest. Breathing here, noticing if you're bending a lot in that right hand, try to straighten it up as mine bends. <laughs> and gently release, table top, keep the toes curled, press back to that active child's pose. Spread the palms, breathe. And then gaze towards the palms, pressing into the forearms. You're going to slither forward, coming all the way onto the belly. And moving into our, our full bow pose. So once again, I know I've said it a lot this time, but it's helpful. Grabbing your strap if you need it to wrap around the fronts of the feet or the ankles. If you don't, that's fine. Start to bend the heels towards the bum, grabbing the outsides of the feet or the ankles. And really inhale here. Lift everything up, including the thigh. Lift, lift, lift. You can even rock a little. Whatever feels good. Come out when you need to. Maybe coming back up. One more full inhale, or soften the face, quiet the mind. Exhale, let it go. Hands stacked on top of each other, forehead comes down, swivel the legs side to side. Windshield wipering them. And then rolling onto your back. Hugging the legs into the chest. And taking any inversion of your choice, whether that's happy baby, or shoulder stand, or if you want to do another headstand, handstand. Taking five breaths wherever you end up. Playing with it if you want. Maybe taking lotus legs if you're in shoulder stand. And then maybe taking plow pose or air pressure pose. And then coming back up one more time to that shoulder stand if this is what you're playing with for your inversion before coming back down onto your mat. Inhale, lifting up, take a bridge. Exhale, lowering down. And then moving into some spinal twists if you'd like, or already into your final resting shape. You can stay as long as you'd like in these. Whatever allows for you to feel complete in your practice and satisfied you know like when you're really hungry and then you get that, that yummy food or dessert or drink if you're thirsty and you just feel so satiated so full and happy
meeting in your final resting shape. And thinking back to what we talked about in the beginning of class is about being a benevolent alien. And if you forgot about it a little bit throughout the practice, that's fine. It's natural. But see, did it make things a little different in your practice? Did you look at poses differently? Did you look around you differently? Did your breath feel different because you're an alien? Maybe aliens don't breathe and they're getting to experience oxygen and breath for the first time, filling up your lungs. Here in the desert, we've been getting a lot of monsoons, so all these full breaths, smells so good, like wet creosote. Nothing I've ever smelled before anywhere else in the world, except for here. And if I was an alien, I know that would be something that would imprint me and be so exciting. I'd probably be journaling about it. I still do, and I'm not even a benevolent alien. And seeing how that can carry off your mat. And looking at the world with new eyes, new appreciation, and a whole lot of love and adoration. Staying like this for five to ten minutes, or always longer, if that feels really good. But here's where I leave you, relaxing all the muscles in your face and your body. And I thank you so much for practicing with me today. And can't wait to practice with you next week, as usual. If you have any requests, any concerns, any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thank you so much.